Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain the construction and working of this gun diode. So in the last class I have explained about the transferred electron device. Example for the transferred electron device is a gun diode. So gun diode works on the principle of gun effect. Gun diode works on the principle of gun effect okay what do you mean by gun effect rwh theory two valley theory okay so gun diode is an example gun diode is an example of transferred electron device gun diode is an example of the transferred electron device it is actually in the form of a diode this gun diode is actually in the form of a normal pn junction diode okay um, but it exhibits negative resistance characteristics this gun diode as i told you in the TD, ted transferred electron device it exhibits whatever the properties we have studied with respect to transferred electron device all those properties are applicable to this gun diode because it is a it is an example of the stud it exhibits negative resistance characteristics that means as voltage increases current decreases negative resistance characteristics okay and the name gun for gun diode is because of its inventor inventor JB gun in 1963 jb gun is a physicist actually he is he was a physicist he discovered the effect of this uh, uh, ridley watkin hill some theory in this gun diode okay by just connecting the two substrates n type substrates and in between one n type diffusion <laughs> that type of uh, structure exhibits this gun effect or rwh theory or we can say two valley principle okay in the year 1963 it has largest use in electronic oscillators to generate microwaves electronic oscillators to generate microwaves okay in the microwave signals so we are in the microwave bench setups we can use this gun diode as a input source okay now let us see the construction of this uh, gun diode see here this is the internal structure internal structure it is constructed by joining n plus region and n plus region in between one n region what do you mean by n region and n plus region n region is lightly doped and n plus region is heavily doped okay so normally if you are taking a pure conductor by adding impurities like a pentavalent impurities are added to create n type device and the trivalent impurities are added to create pentavalent uh, p type device okay so in order to in order to create uh, this gun diode we are using three different regions uh, one is n plus region another one is n plus region in between them 
uh, n type region is being sandwiched okay that means two highly concentrated highly doped uh, electrons are having a lightly doped n type material in between this is what the internal structure of this gun diode and the symbolic representation of the gun diode is like this okay normally diode representation is like this but here it is completely different in gun diode this is the this is the symbolic representation one more thing there is no junction in the transferred electronic device the main important characteristic feature of that one is there is no junction junction will not exist in the transferred electronic devices transferred electron devices the example is a gun diode gun diode you will not have any junction when the junction is formed when p type and n type material are connected side by side but here only two all three regions are n type so no junction is there okay coming to the internal construction see here as i told you n plus substrate n plus substrate these n plus substrates are made up of a compound material like gallium arsenide gallium arsenide okay always we are going for the compound materials to exhibit the properties at high frequency and as well as high power okay so compound material like gallium arsenide we are taking for n plus region and this is also n plus region in between these two we are using one n active layer n active layer on the top of which we are having a conducting wire that is called a gold film which is made up of gold so gold film is used on the bottom it will be having a heat sink on bottom it is having a heat sink so on on either sides we are having the terminals anode and cathode so uh, in normal in normal junction diodes anode and cathode are made up of p type and n type but here is both the anode and cathode are made up of completely n type region okay it is one point we need to remember so both anode and cathode are of n type both cathode and anode are of n type so the substrate thickness is also given here the thickness or depth of penetration of these impurities is about 15 microns here n plus and here also n plus whereas the n active layer is having only 5 microns okay now this is the general gun diode what you have in the laboratory okay it is the microwave lab device which is a gun diode okay in if you are having a microwave laboratory in at your colleges you can go to lab and ask for this device okay this is the microwave device microwave component which acts which is nothing but a gun diode see here is the place where you are having a gun diode that produces oscillations electromagnetic signal and now this is the set of frequency this uh, rotator which you can see it like a screw gaze that is used for the cre uh, setting of frequency so this is used for frequency setting normally oscillator gives oscillation set particular frequency that frequency is selected by this rotational scale and now as i told you Tets are, are transferred electronic device, transferred electron device are operated with negative resistance characteristics. So what do you mean by negative resistance characteristics? Until and unless the electrons are in the lower value region, as voltage increases, current also increases. But whereas when uh, the voltage exceeds the threshold voltage, then the transistor or a device enters into non-resistance characteristics, so then the voltage has the even the voltage increases current starts decreasing okay so in gun diode this particular property is clearly visible and it is drawn here in between je characteristics okay normally we can say it is vi characteristics okay normally we can also say vi characteristics voltage and current but here he has taken je characteristics je is nothing but current density to electric field 
current density to electric field characteristics j is nothing but current density current per unit area and e is nothing but electric field electric field okay overall device electric field and overall device okay electric field is nothing but at one particular area if you multiply this electric field into length then it can gives voltage okay now see the characteristics until this particular point threshold voltage until this threshold voltage what is the threshold voltage of this uh, tets it is around 3. Point, we can say 3.4 kilovolts 3.4 kilovolts per centimeter 3.4 kilovolts per centimeter below this 3.4 kilovolts per centimeter below this threshold voltage the transistor works in normal uh, linear region we can say or a positive resistance characteristics region where the voltage increases current also increases so as the electric field e increases the current density j also increases and we can also observe that these uh, in this particular region the electrons are in the lower valley region this is lower valley region this is upper valley region lower valley region upper valley region lower valley region and it is upper valley region okay now when the input voltage just crosses this threshold voltage threshold electric field you can say here so this the particular threshold electric field when it touches slowly the electrons are moving from lower valley region to upper valley region and the current starts decreasing currents current starts decreasing slowly current decreases as the mobility of the electron decreases and mass increases and again when it reaches the upper electric field nothing but it is another type of threshold voltage upper threshold voltage where the electrons are completely going to the upper valley region a slight current will flow because of the less mobility of the electrons we cannot say it is a drastic current see the difference uh, graph uh, difference between the graphs after uu and before eth before eth it is a slow increment like this okay but after eu upper current it is slowly increases like this okay it is linear increment but it is slowly gradually increases okay so these are the characteristics with respect to va or je characteristics of this gun diode which exhibits this ridley watkin hilsum theory okay this is the construction and operation of this gun diode thank you